<laughs> so CJ, what's it like working with Ed Cherney? Well, what's it like working with CJ? <laughs> he's always mad, he's always yelling, and he's a hitter. <laughs> so you gotta, you know, you gotta. Uh, we're just, you know, we're brothers from way back, and yeah. we had a connection in Chicago that I, I was in a band that uh, Ed had worked with, and they always talked about Ed. It was a band called Trillion. Oh. And uh, when I moved out to LA, I finally got to meet him. It was like meeting, you know, someone I always dreamed about working with. And we just hit it right. What was the first thing we worked on? Might have, was it Jan Arden? It was Jan. Oh. I'm so proud of the work we did. I'm so proud of that work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little inside yeah. joke there. Uh, yeah. Uh, she yeah. was a great Canadian artist. She couldn't make it in America, but she was totally talented, yeah, funny, yeah. great, yeah. great artist. We had a number one. Yeah, we did have a number but one. But I wrote the bridge on it. Anyway, he wrote. Um, he really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we went went on to work on. Uh, uh, you know, Ed's a funny guy. I have a little <laughs> sense of humor, you know, every once in a while. And I work on these comedy movies, and we really bonded over those. Lots of laughs. Always laughing. Yeah. And, you know, I've got to, if people are laughing in the control room, the music usually sounds great. Yeah. You know, yeah. cats like this. If, we just if, talked if about that not, with Daryl. are not laughing. Yeah. We did a mighty win together, which was <laughs> musically was yeah, just yeah, you know yeah. so rewarding. It was I mean it was just so it was just wonderful. We had the best, we had the best time. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a chance, you should see the movie. Get the record. It's really it, and it's and musically it's really great. What yeah, CJ that does. Is, should, yeah, yeah, and we got to do Spinal Tap, and right now we're, oh. we I got to work on uh, Derek Smalls is doing a solo record. None of the guys want to be on it, but he's. Uh, <laughs> It's all bass. Yeah, we've been working all together a lot this last year. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So Great. Thanks, thanks for hiring me. Well, of course. I know I know who to call. Uh, but it's just so comfortable. and. I'd never want to let you down, too, CJ. <laughs> no, it's only happened once. Well, once ain't bad. When you weren't available. That was uh -huh. in the uh -huh. <laughs> No, that's great. I love him like a brother. And yeah, that makes great that. music. That makes great work when you've got that bond, mm -hmm. that comfort, and it's just an eyebrow. You look over and go, hmm? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. You know what the, the best part? You know, we don't make a lot of money anymore. You know, well, what do they say? You can't make any money in the music business, but you can get rich. I don't, I don't know how that works. But we don't make money like we did. But the best part, especially when you turn into an old motherfucker, you find yourself working with friends and people you got long time relationships with, and that. Yeah. That makes it worthwhile that I'm showing up, you know. I'm showing up to work every day. I'm showing up to a great hang and usually great right. music and, and great a, a great time. Yeah. It's all about the good meal afterwards. Yeah. And what you said earlier about uh, no label infestation, you know, the vermin are in the room. <laughs> you know, for me, that's so much better not having to deal with, with all that crap, these, you know people that don't know anything about music telling yeah. you. Well, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying, there's plenty of label people that I've I'm worked with that, you know, that, you know, that, you know, that I liked and that I've gotten along with and I've had success uh, with and, I, and, I and, they're, and, and they're as passionate about the music and the artist as I am. I understand. I haven't quite had as much success that in that. Uh, <clears throat> but working, the way we've been working lately and on these projects have always been self-funded and with the artist is, is putting up the money or, you know, and man, it makes for so much better music. So, you've been having fun. Yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> it's getting hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so That's it? Nothing? <clears throat> All right. Is uh, there any artist that you refuse to work with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice question, Al. <laughs> you know what? No. No. I mean, there's artists that are more difficult. And as I'm getting older and more sane, you know, when you're younger, you're a little crazier, and you, you know, sometimes you you start believing your own bullshit. And when you get older, something happens that you don't believe your own bullshit as much, and. You, there's reasons to be humble, you know. Um, no matter how much money you made or success you had, there's, it's, uh, uh, no, I can't think. You know what, I got screwed for the first time out of something just recently that never happened to me before. Wow. And it really bothered me, but for about 24 hours, and then I just said, fuck it, and let it go, and, and it was fine instead of holding on to it for, you know, uh, not, <laughs> I, I think it's wrong to do that. And you know what else? <clears throat> Don't burn any bridges, there's no reason to do it. There's no reason to do it. And, and hating and you know, feeling that way only fucks you up. It doesn't hurt them. And they'll get theirs. <laughs> Somebody's going to do, be doing a perp walk out of the West Wing, I'm hoping. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi, Herb. Uh, hey. Well, what a great crowd. Thanks for showing up. This is I didn't think anybody would show up. Aww. Thank you all for coming. Give it up for Okay, we're all going over to Al's house for a swim. Let's go. Come on.